Hey everybody, uh, Mike here. I got a new mold trap in the mail the other day and I haven't had a chance to open it up yet. So I'm getting ready to unbox this thing, see what's inside. And uh, we'll go through this as, as I set it up and explain exactly how to use this thing. So. Hey everybody, just found a, I got a mole just working in this area. Uh, he's got a couple big mounds right on the edge of our lawn. Uh, a couple of my wife's flyers are on the edge. Um, anyway, this mound is pretty good size. It's a good six inches, seven inches tall. So he have been shoving a lot of dirt up here. Uh, normally my go-to mole trapping method is this Victor's out of sight mole trap. Um, I've only caught one mole one time with a mound like this because you have to find where the mole's coming up and shoving the dirt up and usually that hole is down low and comes kind of almost straight up. 
or at a good, pretty good angle. So it's hard to get this deep enough to find it when you get it in that hole that you can get it set and catch him. I've only caught one at a couple different attempts. So what I'm going to do, I have a new trap. And this, this trap that I bought is uh, what I've seen is pretty effective for uh, this type of setup. So what I'm going to do first is uh, I'm going to take a shovel. I'm going to shovel this dirt off here. And I'm not going to set the trap just right immediately. I'm going to shovel this off and then uh, I'll come back and set the, maybe, the, maybe after I see if he's still working right here. This looks to be pretty fresh, so um, if I shove some more up, then I'll know he's definitely still working in this area, and I'll set my uh, new trap in here and see if we can get him that way. I've never managed to see one actually pushing dirt up out of the hole and into making their mound. So what they're doing is they're clearing their tunnels out that's underneath here. When they clean them out, they take all the dirt and they just shove them, shove the dirt out, so they're clearing out their little tunnels. So anyway. Okay, screw this clockwise till it stops. Now, if you try to push this down, it won't go. I had trouble with this the other day. It took me a little bit to figure it out. But by trying to push this lever down, there's this little safety mechanism. This is actually the trigger. This is what trips the mechanism the firing pin inside that fires a cartridge so basically when you shove this down in that notch it puts it in the fire position and then you turn this white ring well the other day i had a heck of a time getting this thing to go down in what i found out if you notice that slop it will not go down far enough with if you can see this, you, if you see that, you, you're not going to get this all the way down. So what I found out is you got to pull this up. That allows that that allows that to go down below this white collar that you got to twist to set the safety. Then you set your safety. So now, what you do is take this back up to the first machined ring. And that is this that is uh, what they call the set so when you put it there you got this white ring this thing cannot go off so now and to test this what I would do is go ahead and take this up to the second machine knob or uh, mark on the shaft that is the fire position right there and when you take and release or move your collar to allow this trigger to go up it is ready to fire I don't have the I don't have a cartridge in it so this is just how you test it to make sure you got it set right so when you set it down and put a little weight on it I'll just do it like this you hear that click the thing just went off if it had a mole shoved up on that it would have blasted him right in the face that's how you can tell if it's been tripped also is but this will be up about in the middle of that white collar now so now to reset it again counterclockwise till it stops pull this pull this up until you don't see that um, shaft push your lever down turn your ring simple as can be I struggled with this the other day when I first got it I <laughs> I went around and around because I, I was trying to get that thing to go down and this thing I, I inadvertently slid this up and it dropped right down in there so one thing to keep in mind that you you want this up so all right so I got the white collar set knobs back down and below the white collar take this up to the first ring that's your safety we're gonna get us another cartridge ready oops pop it out there like so <laughs> Alright, we're going to put this cartridge back in here. And now we're going to thread him back in. Okay, she's in. Safety's on. The only thing I have to do now is get a bag that is supplied with your kit.
and set your trap inside this bag and it is ready to rock and roll so now it's ready for another test so when I take it back out all I got to do is turn this up to that second machined ring right there so when you get up to this second machined ring this is the fire position okay so safety still on so I don't have to worry about this thing going off act prematurely now with your little plastic rod cartridge remover grab this cartridge holder firmly with one hand and then you're gonna smack her down and let that plastic rod shove your spent cartridge out so there's the spent one so that is how you remove the cartridge I don't know what kind of, I don't know how else going to work because I got two cats down here trying to help me tonight. But anyway, I'm going to take this dirt and put it in this bucket for the moment. I had a hole. There's a hole right there. So now my next step will be getting this point down in, in the hole. So I have it down in the hole, they give you a pin to kind of put around this. Let you get out of the way. And then all I got to do now is simply slide this white collar out of the way to allow this pin to work so this trap is set hey everybody um i just got home from work and checked underneath the bucket looks like my trap's been fired so i'm going to uh show you what this trap looks like when it's been set off and then also uh i brought a spade with me i want to hopefully dig down here and find a a mold that is deceased Move the bucket out of the way and I'm going to take you down here for a bird's eye view of the trap. So basically, kind of hard to tell with the uh, bag on it. So I'm going to pull the bag back. As you, if you remember when I set this up, this safety. The tip on this safety thing shows that you're, it was tripped because when it's in safety, it's underneath this white ring. So that's, that's one of the obvious signs that this thing has been fired. Also, you'll notice that now this uh, firing mechanism is, is all the way down. You don't see that ring in there anymore, the polished ring that I showed you back when you set it. So I'm going to pull this thing out of the ground. That I brought a spade. Uh, you can tell the end of the bag. See how it's all got dirt in it and been blasted open by the, the cushion of the 
blank cartridge. So we are going to I'm gonna dig down. I'm going to reach in there. Open it. Okay, uh, I got my trap set in the second spot that I'd set this uh, new mole cat in. All right, Maggie, we don't need your help. Okay, now I can tell that the traps went off because you can tell that. Well, there's some blood on the end of this bag, so that's a pretty good indication. And you can tell that she's went off. I'm gonna try to get rid of this cat. This cat drives me crazy. All right. What's once again, you can tell that this thing's went off because this uh, trip lever is now up above this white collar. So that's how you can tell. No! She's great. And just like that, there is our mole. So, this trap So, as you can see, this <laughs> this mole cat trap worked just like it says it does. Stop the mole in its tracks. Shoving dirt up into the lawn. There we go. So this is this is the second mole that I've got with this mole cat trap. The first mole I tried to dig it up. It was uh it was right next to where we had a big old sycamore tree that's I don't know how old that thing was, but anyway, I had a massive root growing right by where the mole hole was at, and I was unable to retrieve that mole. So, uh, this mole, luckily, was right there where I could reach him. And he's cold, so he's been in the ground for a while. Anyway, I'm a happy camper. <laughs>